in 1D calculus, we learned how to create tangent lines to do linear approximations to functions of one variable. Well, now we're going to do the same thing for functions of many variables, and instead we're going to use a tangent plane to approximate these functions. For example, if we've got f of x, y is equal to 4 minus x squared minus y squared. We have this nice parabolic hill. One, two, one, two, three, four. It starts off at zero here. We have a parabola in this direction. We have a parabola along the x is equal to zero slice. And the level curves are circles. So we can draw this nice little function here. And we can ask, what's a good approximation to this function at the point 1, 1? So we consider x, y, is equal to 1, 1. So at 1, 1, we have that f of 1, 1 is equal to 4 minus 1 squared minus 1 is equal to 2. So we'll have the point right here on that plane. And we've seen that if we restrict y to be constant, so we fix y is equal to 1, then we have a curve and we can get a tangent line on that curve. And if we fix x is equal to 1, we get another curve and we can get a tangent line along that curve. So that means we have two tangent lines that we can associate to this point immediately from what we've already done. So I've got a line here that's tangent, and I've got a line here that's tangent at that point. And what were those lines? Well, to get those lines, first we needed the partial derivatives. And it's easy to see that this is negative 2x. And this is negative 2y. So what was the equation of the first line? Well, the equation of the first line is x of a parameter t is equal to, the point starts off at, 1, 1, and then in the third dimension it's 2. So that's our point on the line, 1, 1, 2. That's exactly this point. Plus t. Well, since x is equal to 1, we plug it in here and we get negative 2. So every unit we move in the x direction we're going to move down 2 in the f of x, y direction. So that means we have 1. We contribute 0 to y since we're moving in a constant y plane. Negative 2 here. Similarly, the line where y is changing is equal to 1, 1, 2 plus t of 0, 1, negative 2. Well these are two lines and they live in exactly one plane together. There's one plane that they form and this plane sits right at that point and contains both those lines. So let's write the parametric equation for that line. The parametric equation for that line, I'm going to write it in an 
kind of a strange way. I'm going to write delta x delta y is equal to, well it starts off at 1, 1, 2, plus I have this direction as I change x. Plus, as I change y, I move in this direction. Another way to write this we can see that this is going to be x naught plus delta x y naught plus delta y and what was this term? This was f of x naught y naught plus what was this term? This was d df dx of x naught y naught And the last part of this component is df dy of x naught y naught delta y. So that gives us the tangent plane. And we also see exactly what the tangent plane is really looking like here. Right? So in this part it was very simple. And here we had this nice somewhat linear equation. If we remove this constant, this is a nice linear equation of delta x, delta y. Well, we can use this now as a approximation to this function at that point. So this term is a candidate for approximating this function. So we can say that f of x naught plus delta x y naught plus delta y is approximately f of x naught y naught that is we put that point in plus df dx x naught y naught delta y plus df dy x naught y not delta y. So that's a nice, very, very clean approximation. And we can just plug in numbers to do that. So for example, let's plug in numbers here. So f of 1, point 0.1 1.1 is approximately, well it's f of 1, 1 plus df dx of 1, 1 times 0 0.1 plus df dy of 1, 1 times 0 0.1. This is going to be equal to 2. This is negative 2. So negative 2 times that will give me minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.2, which is equal to 1.6. And the actual value is this actually equals 0 0.58, I mean 1.58, which is actually pretty good. That's actually really good. Now this term here is special. In general, we'll say that d f is the 
differential of f or the total derivative and we write df is equal to df dx dx where this is the differential with respect to x this is partial with respect to y and this is a nice this is a nice uh, shorthand for the total derivative Now there's one one last thing with, that we should observe is that in this approximation, right? So we have this approximation f of x naught y naught plus df dx of x naught y naught dx plus df dy x naught y naught well, we can also write that as fx naught y naught plus df dx of x naught y naught df dy of x naught y naught inner product with dx dy as a vector. And that's actually a really nice way to think about this, is that I've got my base point, and then I'm taking a partial derivative with respect to this object here. And in general, we'll call this the derivative of f at x naught y naught. This is equal to df dx at x naught, y naught, df, dy, x naught, y naught. And you can see how we can just generalize this to higher dimension. We just take all the partials with respect to every single variable, and we evaluate it at a particular point.